Hi, welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, I'll teach you how to add whole numbers and fractions with unlike denominators. Now, I'll show to you how to add whole numbers and fractions with denominators that are not the same by solving different problems. So I hope you can watch this video at, until the end so that you will learn about this topic. Okay, let's start with this problem. 6 plus 1 half plus 3 fourths equals. In this problem, there is only one whole number, 6, and 2 fractions with different denominators. So to solve this problem, we need to change the fractions to similar fractions by getting the LCD of 2 and 4. Okay, so let's answer. Copy the whole number 6. Then get the LCD of 2 and 4. The LCD of 2 and 4 is 4. So let's write the LCD 4. Next, divide the LCD by the denominators and multiply by the numerators to get the new numerators. Okay, let's do it. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Times 1, the answer is 2. Next, 4 divided by 4 is 1. Times 3 equals 3. The fractions now have the same denominators. So we can add now. Since there is only one whole number, so just copy the whole number 6. Then add the numerators, 2 plus 3 equals 5, and copy the LCD 4. The answer is 6 and 5 fourths. But we can reduce this to lowest term, or we can simplify the answer because the fraction is improper fraction. The numerator 5 is greater than the denominator 4. So, we need to simplify it by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Okay, let's do it. Copy the whole number 6. Then, simplify the fraction and add to the whole number. So, let's divide. 5 divided by 4, the answer is 1. And there is a remainder of 1. So, 5 fourths is 1 and 1 fourth in simplest form. So let's add 1 and 1 fourth to the whole number. Okay, now add the whole numbers. 6 plus 1 equals 7. Then copy the fraction 1 fourth. So the answer is 7 and 1 fourth. Let's have another example. 4 sixths plus 5 plus 10 equals. In this example, there is only one fraction and two whole numbers. So what we're going to do is to add the whole numbers and to copy the fraction. Okay, let's answer. 5 plus 10 equals 15. And copy the fraction 4 sixths. The answer 15 and 4 sixths can be reduced to lowest term because the numerator 4 and the denominator 6 are both composite numbers and they have common factors. So we need to get the GCF of 4 and 6 and we will divide them by their GCF. Okay, let's do it. The GCF of 4 and 6 is... 2. So we will divide them by 2. Okay, let's write the answer. Let's copy the whole number 15. Then divide 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the answer is 15 and 2 thirds. For the last example, let's answer this problem. 3 plus 2 thirds plus 1 sixth plus 2 equals. So, 
As you can see, the denominators are not the same. So first step that we are going to do is to change the fractions to similar fractions by getting the LCD. The LCD of 3 and 6 is 6. Okay, so let's write it here. Copy the whole number 3 and the whole number 2. Then write the LCD 6. The next step is to divide the LCD by the denominators and multiply by the numerators to get the new numerators. So let's divide. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. The other one, 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. Okay, the denominators now are the same. So we can add now. Okay, add the whole numbers. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Add the numerators. 4 plus 1 equals 5. And copy the LCD 6. The answer is 5 and 5 sixths. I hope you learned in this video. See you next time. God bless.